For the first time in four years, Chico High School has a boys volleyball team. And sports director Jenna Fink caught up with the team. So, Jenna, how did it restart? There was some interest in the spring last year, Haley and Allen. Since then, the team has tripled in size, and it's the only boys volleyball team in our entire area. Junior Owen Faith still remembers watching Chico boys volleyball as a middle schooler. My brother was on the team before it uh, shut down and I always just really enjoyed watching volleyball. It's just a really cool sport. So when the Panthers relaunched their program this season, he knew he had to join. I really like just um, making good plays with my team and, and just like seeing all of the skills develop. Um, in me and in all my teammates. It's so fast, like everything's happening like second after second after second and you're always moving and you're thinking about everything like three steps ahead. Chico's team started with just 10 players. Now it has 30 across JV and varsity. The cool thing about starting something new in a program is that every little success or every day or every practice or every game, there's a new thing to celebrate. It sort of helped me like coming out of my skin a little bit, at least like when I play. Like I don't, I talk a lot more when I'm playing than I do normally, especially with people I don't know. I don't know, I made like almost all my friends do this. Before the team restarted, most of the players on the court behind me had never played volleyball before. Now they're representing Chico as the only boys volleyball team in the section. The Panthers won their first home match against River Valley 3-1 on Thursday. I think that that's part of the fun is uh, going out there and showing everyone what we're doing here every night and uh, just showing them like what, what the sport could be if we, if we uh, you know, pursued it. Chico's biggest challenge right now is traveling to games. Being the only northern section team means the Panthers have to go to Yuba City or even Sacramento to play. Coach Langarica hopes that changes. It's got to start somewhere. I think this is a great way to encourage the schools nearby and hopefully by putting a good team and a very, what I think would be a successful team, will encourage the other schools to try to get their boys team up, up and running as well. Chico is back in action March 18th in the Boys Stockton Classic Tournament. So awesome to see this sport making a comeback in our area.